Hey everybody, this is Kevin, and today I'm gonna to talk about investing short-term cash. So uh, this is now a thing in 2022, if you've not heard. You can actually make some money on your money. One of my clients uh, often says he doesn't care about getting a return on his money, he just wants to get a return of his money, and I think that's a Mark Twain quote. Uh, I love it. But so investing short-term money, you really want you want to get your money back at least. So going to talk about more safe from a risk uh, return standpoint, safe things, guaranteed things. So, but the one thing that's not guaranteed, well, it's guaranteed, but you have to have illiquidity for a period of time if you get higher returns with these types of products that I'm going to discuss. So illiquidity means you can't have it or you can have it, but then you're going to get a lot less interest. So first of all, there's, there's two things I think are extremely important with the cash. Number one, are you going to spend it? Might be obvious, but if you're going to spend the money, don't invest the money. It's, it's probably just not even worth your time. That's really the major issue here. But let's say that you're not sure if you're going to buy a car in the next year. You could use uh, something like a no penalty CD, stick some money in there and get at least a return on your money and a return of your money, FDIC insured. So that's the first reason. You know, when are you going to uh, spend the money? If you're going to spend it, don't, don't invest it. The second big issue that we see with a lot of clients is that there's a safety blanket or a uh, security um, around having cash in the bank, okay? It's, it's really, it's not totally rational. It's not totally from an economist standpoint, but it's, it's absolutely something that we see. So the, the key here is to find your security number. And then when cash gets above those numbers, then let's, let's do something with it, in my opinion. This is not investment advice. It's education. But it's probably a good idea to invest that cash that, that you're not going to spend for some period of time, and it's not a security blanket. So first place I would go um, would be Treasury Direct. Now, the negative about Treasury Direct is uh, it's a government website. You're buying directly from the U.S. Treasury. You can buy bonds there, I-bonds. Uh, you can buy T-bills, which are short-term government bonds. You buy them directly from the Treasury. The I-bonds uh, you buy at a certain price. The Treasuries, you're going into an auction uh, with uh, other people that are going to buy from the U.S. Treasury. So since it's a government website, it's not so easy. It's a little bit tricky. If you're a client of ours, we're happy to help you. There's lots of videos and other information about how to get in there, set up your bank account, all that kind of stuff. Um, I would absolutely help a parent if I was a child who might not be that savvy with this. Like I said, it's a little tricky. The benefit of Treasury Direct is it's direct. You don't have to pay any fees. Uh, you buy them directly from the U.S. Treasury. And I'll show you what the Treasury rates are in a second here. So, so if you don't have I-bonds right now, and you have cash that you're not going to use for a year and a day, please consider getting I-bonds. 9.62 for the next six months, and then it resets after that depending on inflation. So, you know, you're kind of guaranteed 4.88% because we only know the six months of uh, interest. But that's still pretty doggone good versus what you're probably getting in your bank account. So, the, uh, the, the, the non-penalized or the no-penalty CDs can be something that you might want to consider if you're not sure when you're going to spend the money. So you see right here, CIT Bank, uh, 2.15, Ally Bank, 11 months, 2.0. And so these are products that if you pull your money out, there's no penalty, but you get a lower interest rate, right? So... So that's the, uh, that's the trade-off. If you know for sure that you're going to keep the money at the bank for a year, well, then don't do a no-penalty CD. Do a regular CD. They're not called pen penalty CDs. But And here's the other thing that people just don't know is that with a CD, you are signing a contract with the bank, but you can always ask for your money back. You just lose some interest. So CDs are not truly like you're handcuffed and can't get the money back. Treasury Direct, you are. Uh, you need to hold the I-bonds for a year and a day. You need to hold the treasuries for uh, a period of time. Now, there are some other products that we work with clients on. Uh, if I didn't say it already, we, we do charge an asset management fee to work with our clients. But um, for a while here, these brokered CDs that we could get at Charles Schwab, you could get them at Fidelity or other 
custodians, they were offering higher rates than, than CDs. So right here we see that brokered CDs fixed, uh, I call them tradable CDs because they trade every day, 3.25. These were higher than uh, regular CDs and they were also higher than treasuries. They're not right now. Rates are moving so fast that by the time they put the CD out, there's higher rates in treasuries or by the time they put the CD out, treasury rates have gone down. So, so this is something that you just have to look at. But the, the one caveat with a tradable CD is that if you don't hold it for a year, you can do that. But let's say interest rates go up. If interest rates go up when you sell your tradable CD to the marketplace, uh, you could get a lower, lower return. If you wait the duration of the CD, then you just get all your money back plus that 3.25 interest in this case here. So you might have heard the term uh, yield curve. And, uh, you know, maybe you've discussed yield curve and you go, yeah, 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 yield curve. Yeah, it's inverted. Yeah, yeah. Here's, here's all that means, okay? We use a lot of lingo in finance, but the three-month uh, T-bill is now paying 2.9%. So you give your money over to, uh, to, to treasuries, you buy them here, you buy them from Treasury Direct. Uh, you get 2.9% divided by four because it's only three months. Um, so that's that's pretty good rate. Now, if you let them hold your money for a year, it goes up to 3.46, goes to 3.56, and then it goes back down again. Now, how is that possible? I'm investing my money for a longer period of time and it goes back down. Well, yes, and that's because this is an inverted yield curve. But the one year, I don't want to get too much in the inversion part. The one year is pretty doggone good. 3.46 over the next one year. So why would anyone invest over 10 years for a 3.27? Well, it's because in a year from now, if interest rates crash, we have a recession. When you go to reinvest that money, let's say you're going to invest it for 10 years, you have no idea what the new rate will be in a year. So, so that's why sometimes people will ladder these things. That's why sometimes insurance companies will buy longer dated, and they call it paper, but longer dated uh, treasuries because they want to guarantee that, that, that rate for a longer period of time. So, so treasuries are a great option. Uh, brokered CDs or what I call tradable CDs, most of the time they're higher. Right now they're not, so you just have to look at that. Uh, treasuries, you don't have to pay state income tax on that. We always like a tax dodge, legal tax dodge, that is. Um, so there are multiple things you can do. Now, the, the final item that you could do if you want to get a little higher is you could go out to three years with some uh, uh, guaranteed annuity products, which are paying in the four range right now. So again, it's an illiquidity, though. Uh, you're going to get higher returns uh, because you can't have your money back. You can get 10% back a year. But if you have any questions on any of these, if you have too much cash, yeah, that's a first world problem to have, but you're feeling guilty about it and you're not getting any return on it, let's talk about it. So thanks so much.